Today is such an exciting day, guys, because we are all done framing our house and we get to start on our next project, which is building our rainwater catchment system. And the first step into that project is our gutters. So we went and just got all our gutters, which was exciting, but we forgot this little, one little fact, the sealant in between the gutters, because obviously we don't have uh, a seamless gutter. We just got it from our big box store. And more we thought about it, we're like, crap, this is gonna be potable water, so yeah, we have to use a uh, sealant that is sodable, uh, potable approved. And apparently there's only one that I could find that's out there. Uh, it's made by Silcaflex. It's called 1A, I guess. That's the only one I can find that's actually approved for potable water. So, of course, they don't carry that. They carry all the other different variations and varieties, but not that one. Yeah. So, ordered it, it's on its way. But for the time being, we're going to go and get our water tanks. Which we're gonna have to make a few trips for because the water tanks are huge. They are 2,500 gallons a piece. Yeah, and we're getting three of those. So we'll have a total storage capacity of 7,500 gallons. Which will be more than enough for where we're located. So you ready to go get them? Yep. <laughs> All right. Man, this is a very attractive angle I have going on right now. <laughs> okay. The water tank is way more massive than we thought it was going to be. And we look absolutely ridiculous right now. We are pulling this behemoth with the CRV. <laughs> All right, let's hope we make it home okay, because this is just trip one of three. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, we made it. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty stressful. It was a little touch and go there for a little bit. I totally just kept envisioning the tank just going and falling off the trailer and just rolling down the road. But <laughs> we made it back on one piece. You guys have to see how big this thing is. Okay, so just for size reference here, Spencer's pretty tall. He's 6'3", and this thing dwarfs him. <laughs> Oh wait, no, hold on, stay there. I want to come stand next to you now. All right, Bear, now it's your turn. Oh, good boy. Oh, look how big you are. Look how good boy. How good you are. <laughs> the other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow. Will you carry me like I am? Sounds cool. Hello. Is anybody in there? <laughs> show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung desperate. All right, so today we're figuring out exactly where we want our water storage tanks. We originally, before we moved out here, thought we were going to have all our cisterns right up next to the house. Just kind of, we always like that idea just because it kind of give it that off grid feel like your water storage tanks and everything right up next to the house. You're like, oh man. Well, now we're like, it kind of blocks the house a little too much. So we're looking for a different place to store them. So you can see behind me where one cisterna is currently, 
we're kind of thinking over in that area just because it's shaded from the trees but again we had an idea coming out here but everything's constantly changing and evolving so we're just figuring it out as we go I look like I could be working at Kennedy Space Center. Yeah. Cool. All right, we just got back from the store. We have all of our materials. We have decided that we are going to be keeping the water tanks in this location. I like it so much better than over and in front of the house. And being over here, now they can be slightly shaded by all the trees over here, which is really nice because it'll help them last even longer. Yeah, we were going to, we, we priced out some underground tanks. We always liked earth ships and we wanted to do something similar, but just the price, the price alone was easily three times as much. So for anything this size. So the materials we just went and got are just to start marking off the spot and that way we can start leveling the area where the containers are going to be going. I need a siesta. Yes. Is that, is that a nap? Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, the number of trips that it would require for me to go down and get dirt would just be absolutely ridiculous because Spencer was up here trying to start level the area and I was gonna bring dirt up and we were gonna fill in our little area that we were surrounding by uh, four by sixes and it would just take forever to be honest. <laughs> so Spencer right now is going and seeing if he can borrow his grandfather's tractor just to make our lives a little bit easier. All alone on the internet, you don't seem to forget about yourself. stumbled across the Black Widow. It was actually on the board I just cut, so it was right by my hand. There she is. You can see the hourglass on her belly.
God, we look rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this project has definitely been a little bit more labor intensive than we had originally thought, you know, because we were first planning on putting the tanks up next to the house and doing it over here has definitely just required much more work. Yeah, much more leveling. Up towards the house where we originally thought we were gonna have them was gonna require just minimal leveling, but of course, we always choose the hardest way. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, it, fighting with the root system of the far side of this tree and just being dry Texas soil, very fun to deal with, Yeah. to say the least. I know it'll be worth it though. It'll be so nice having them over here, but we're almost done leveling out the whole area and Spencer's almost done getting all the rebar in and tying it all together. And once that's done, we're gonna lay some landscape fabric out and then uh, a layer of gravel to help drainage. And after all of that, then we can put the water tanks on there and start getting everything hooked up. Yeah. We got a bit left to do, but we're getting there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. And if you're wondering, this is not the actual color of my shirt. This is just <laughs> sweat. I don't think it's that... actually a light green. Yeah. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>